garden today. So we start, peas are starting to go. It's just getting too warm for them. And I think we're supposed to like, after the 4th of July, which is next week, we're supposed to go up into 90 degree temperatures. So I think our peas and sadly our lettuce will probably be things of the past. Uh, with the lettuce, however, Bob could probably move that to the very back of the trailer. Maybe put the um, that great thing down. You know what I'm talking about? That rack on the back of the trailer. We used to sit on it. And we could put the lettuce on that. And that should keep the direct sun off of it. Well, somewhere back there we could probably do that. And that would extend the lettuce. I mean, it's 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 a cool weather crop. But it might give us a couple more days with it. You know, all in all, when it starts to bolt, that will go to the birds. But the peas, we'll do another picking of them. We'll pick as much as we can. And then the birds will get the vines and they'll enjoy those. And then um, we got onions. These might, we might just do those as a biennial. I don't know yet. And then the berries and stuff, they're all doing really good. And this celery, that big one there, that is going to go to seed. It's starting to flower. And then behind that is a birdhouse gourd. And then I have my really piss poor looking eggplants after that. Um, this one in the front here, it's starting to pull out and look pretty decent. And the one behind it doing okay I they'll pull out they will grow I just don't think they're gonna grow to potential and then here is one of the green zucchinis this is the best one this is a little starter plant that we picked up for like three dollars at the little country store out here Carol's store and then this was one that we got from the farm supply store Wilco pissed about that one because it got uh, downy mildew if that's not lovely. So it was a nice big plant. It got a big old haircut. Bob cut off all the leaves. There's still a couple more that need to come off. I can see from right here. Like, let's see. Those crispy edged ones. They've got to get out of there. And then um, this is the jalapeno plants. That is a green cream cherry. Some of my starts, they were really tiny, and we didn't think that they would amount to anything, like right here. These are some of my eggplants. We're going to put these down on the terrace. If they grow, they grow. If they don't, they don't. Just like, um, let me see right here. This is a like a goranong that I got these seeds from Baker Creek. But again, we were brooding geese. We weren't planning on that, so everything got neglected, unfortunately. So there are my super hot peppers right there. I'll try to get them into focus right there. These are like, what are those, like 30 gallon tubs, totes? Something like that. 30 quart. 48, 40, 40 quart, something like, anyway, something like that. And uh, we planted out four peppers in there. I will not be able to save seeds from these, unfortunately. Because I, the way it's going, I doubt they'll even do anything, honestly. But we're going to give them a chance. Uh, let's see. Tomatoes right there. Those are doing fantastic. Same with the broccoli. It's starting to do side shoots. I think maybe, yeah. Uh, you can see a side shoot right there. We've harvested all the main crowns off of them. And those are looking fantastic. Cabbage. They're looking great, too. And then another tote with five pepper plants. Little tiny pepper plants in it. But you know what? If those don't do very well, it's fine. I have these two jalapenos. They'll do something. And I have a bell pepper over there that I'm hoping I can grow. I have uh, Bell peppers are my garden nemesis, though. Potatoes. Look at those suckers. And then Bob planted... One strawberry plant out there, and then um, our friend gave us a bunch more starts, which they're up here in those those things by the lettuce. But she gave us a bunch start of starts, and he put them down there, and they're doing great. And then over, let's see, that would be okay. Tomato, you can see on the raised bed over on the other side of the tomato that 
the um, broccoli over there is doing really well. And then over here in the little raised bed past those tomatoes are the cucumbers. Cucumbers and squash are over here. Ah, over here on the trellis. And again, we had a yellow zucchini planted out over on the other side of the tomatoes in that six foot bed. Downy mildew. Bob had to give it a haircut. I am really pissed off about that. And that's one of the, my tomato starts, believe it or not. It's as big as these suckers that I bought at that local place that gave me the bunk zucchini plants. So it's huge. And then I have like um, zinnia in there. That's a marigold over there. More marigold over here. And even yet some more marigold up there. We got marigold all over in there. We got the zinnia. And I had Bob seed in. Um, there's a lot of like bush beans. Um, there's one right in the front. Right there coming out of the cabbage. There's a bush bean. Uh, let's see. Italian parsley. Um, I don't know how the basil's doing over on the other side. But there's a basil plant. Uh, uh, we seeded in all sorts of bush beans in there and then we threw in carrots oh lord um, carrots calendula marigold seeds just a, a wide assortment just like kind of did down here and I see a lot of like marigolds coming up but there is um, like right there I think it is I think that is a patch of clover and it needs to come out of there. But I'm really happy with those zinnias. Those are really pretty. Anyhow, this is my bed of chaos, my garden of chaos. And so far we're loving these raised beds.